I made a very simple test setup for electrical discharge machining which I would like to show you in more detail in this video. As the name suggests, this machine removes material by creating sparks caused by electrical discharge. At this stage of development, it is a working, but horribly inefficient machine. Poor test setups are very well suited to more precisely analyze the core elements of a process. The aim of the experimental setup is to drill a small hole in hardened steel. A cheap CNC machine which I have presented in detail on my second channel, how open is this gadget, is used as the mechanical part. The only mechanical modifications I've made is adding a sliding contact to the tool holder of the milling motor and electrically isolating that motor from the rest of the mechanics with a layer of adhesive tape. The firmware... Garbel is installed out of the box has been replaced by a few lines of code I wrote myself. I showed how to do this in a previous video. My material of choice to drill a hole in is a hardened steel razor blade with a thickness of about 0.1mm. First, let's try to drill the hole in the classic way. A 1mm drill is placed in the chuck and the z-axis is slowly lowered by hand while the spindle is running. The tip of the drill dances on the steel surface instead of penetrating at the intended point. After a while, the drill finds a spot where it can remove a bit of the steel and comes to rest in that tiny crater, but then... not much happens. The discoloration of the razor blade around that spot shows that the metal is heating up. The thermal imaging camera makes this even clearer. All in all, the drill didn't really drill. In the second attempt, I'm using the same, now somewhat blunt 1mm drill bit, but apply a DC voltage of about 30 volts between the workpiece and the drill bit. This requires the sliding contact which is made of a strip of copper sheet that touches the chuck. Ground of the circuit is connected to this copper strip. The plus 30 volts line leads to the workpiece holder via a screw and then to the razor blade. Those 30 volts are generated from an input voltage of not quite 12 volts by a very quick and dirty soldered step up converter. The core components of the circuit are an electrolytic capacitor that is charged to the output voltage... ...a self-wound toroidal coil which increases the input voltage to the desired value via induction voltage when being switched on and off... ...an N-channel MOSFET that is used to control the current flow through the coil... ...and a diode which causes the higher output voltage to be isolated from the lower input voltage. The switching on and off of the MOSFET and thus the coil current is done by a microcontroller board with an 80MHz328P chip. The firmware also consists of just a few lines of code that make sure that the capacitor is only charged to the intended output voltage. 
A signal can be output to the CNC machine via a pin, which indicates whether the output voltage has been reached or not. How does spark erosion work? Well, the drill is slowly brought near to the surface of the razor blade. In the electric circuit composed of the charge electrolytic capacitor, the copper wires, the chuck and the drill bit, as well as the air between the drill tip and the razor blade, the latter has by far the highest resistance. Almost no current flows out of the capacitor. However, if the air gap becomes very small, a spark will jump over at some point before the drill touches the razor blade. There is a lot to say about the process of spark formation, which I will explain in more detail in a later chapter. I already have a video on electrostatics on offer. The short version is, spark is a plasma. Plasma is a very good conductor and plasma is so hot that parts of the razor blade melt or even vaporize. As a result, a tiny bit of material is removed from the razor blade in a process named erosion. So do we keep the plasma burning until the hole is drilled to the desired depth? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. I won't explain the reasons in this video, but the plasma has to be extinguished again. On the one hand, this happens because the electrolytic capacitor discharges which reduces the output voltage and on the other hand, because the drill bit is lifted again. At some point, the electric field between the drill bit and the razor blade becomes too weak so that the plasma breaks down. The process now starts from the beginning. The capacitor is charged again and the drill is lowered. More material is removed with each cycle. until the razor blade is pierced by the drill at some point. My experimental setup works, in principle. The drill penetrates a very hard metal almost without contact, which it only has scratched a little in the classic way. While drilling another hole, the razor blade is only clamped at one end to show that the drill bit just strokes the steel slightly every now and then during the process. Further chapters will deal with optimizing this EDM setup and examining the process more closely. Yes, I know my step up converter design is horrible, but the circuit has a second diode to detect shorts, a second MOSFET to block those shorts and a microcontroller that can process a few more lines of control code and finally, there are a few free GPIOs. And another, yes, the final circuit will no longer be a simple step up converter as such. Then I have a microscope that I can use to show the process with better magnification to explain why the workpiece and the drill should be constantly flushed with the liquid. I will show step by step how to use more of the electrical input power for the erosion process instead of being wasted in the step up converter, the milling spindle or the CNC machine. In order to make efficient use of my limited time, I will only respond to comments that address something that is really new to me on the subject of spark erosion. This video is only a very brief introduction to the topic. Questions in the comments will be noted and the interesting ones will be answered in coming videos. More about this machine and physical computing in general can be found on the pages of my project Homo Faciens. Have a click. 
And if you want to support me financially in the improvement of this spark erosion CNC or other open source machines, there is a donate button on my pages. Many thanks to everyone who has already made use of it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.